Hello and welcome to another video review, this time about the new binoculars from Leica, the Geovid Pro 8x56. The company Leica is very famous from the production of cameras and sports optics and the headquarters is in Wetzlar in Germany. Uh, the company was established in 1869 and in 1907 they started the production of binoculars. The first binoculars with an integrated laser rangefinder came out in 1992 uh, and it was introduced by Leica and it was already under the name Geovit and back then it was very revolutionary because this was never done before uh, so it was first of its kind. In 2022 on SHOT Show in the United States, Leica introduced the new Geovit Pro series of binoculars uh, with five different models. Uh, every model designed for a different purpose uh, and the one I have here now is the biggest model of them all, the 8x56 binocular which was designed for lower light uh, conditions usage uh, like hunting at dusk or dawn um, where you need the brightest image uh, possible um, and you want to see the uh, most details in lower light uh, conditions. Uh, like all the Leica Geovit, uh, earlier Geovit binoculars uh, also, this one features the integrated laser range finder uh, and the Pro models are now a bit different than the earlier ones because now they feature the new, uh, the applied ballistics ultralight uh, ballistics calculator integrated into uh, the device uh, and also the new Leica ProTrack feature um, which is the first laser range finder binoculars on the market that features a GPS mapping integration through base maps, Google Maps and Garmin uh, mapping. So when you make your measurement, the uh, binoculars, when it's connected to the phone, to the smartphone, you know exactly where you, are, you were, did aimed uh, uh, and you will get the point on one of these three uh, maps uh, on your smartphone. So a really unique feature um, and it's especially very usable uh, in mountain hunting. Let's say you are uh, hunting at long ranges in the mountains, you can make your point uh, on the map and then you, uh, you see where you have to go uh, if you uh, make your shot on an uh, animal. Um, okay, now if we go for the housing uh, description, uh, if I start with the eye cups, they have uh, five different uh, position settings. So they are designed uh, that you can use them with, um, with uh, glasses or without. And they are made from uh, some sort of a composite material uh, which is very uh, strong and durable and uh, here it's also a rubberized armor uh, on the eyepiece uh, for protection of the eyepieces and also for uh, ergonomic uh, purposes. Then uh, on both barrels separately is the diopter setting uh, which uh, can be adjusted perfectly for each eye so you get the best possible image when you look through uh, the binoculars and the adjustment is really simple there is no locking function uh, and the diopter setting is quite stiff so it, uh, it, uh, it can happen that you accidentally make a small change when you carry it around 
but it is a really small uh, um, error, let's say, because yeah, it's so stiff, it mostly will not happen uh, in my opinion. Then if we go for the barrels, first what we can uh, no notice is a bit curved design which comes from the Perger Poro prism which is built inside which is known uh, for uh, the great light transmission so the, there are really nice uh, well uh, made prisms inside of uh, this uh, binoculars the um, barrels are made uh, completely out of magnesium uh, and they feature a uh, very thick rubber armoring uh, so the binoculars are well protected uh, if they fell down to rocks and then think um, and most of the times nothing will happen to the binoculars the interpupillary distance on this uh, binocular is from 60 to 74 millimeters and I have to say uh, that it does not suit all of the uh, all of the users uh, like for me personally my eyes are very narrow together and <clears throat> uh, like this I can still use them perfectly but if I put on the objective uh, covers uh, I cannot use them anymore because the covers are outside of the objective and because of that the interpupillary distance get uh, automatically a bit wider uh, so um, every user should check uh, for this when you want to purchase such a, a binocular in my opinion um, then here are the attachments for the carrying strap which is this one here so it uh, comes through this uh, attachment and then you can already uh, carry it around with the strap and this is everything from the bottom uh, except here uh, that I don't forget is the battery compartment which houses one CR2 battery which is needed for the laser range uh, finder if you don't have the battery or if it's uh, low on power uh, the binoculars work perfectly fine also without the battery okay now on the upper side first here is the uh, focusing wheel which is this one here and the focusing wheel feels very very smooth and uh, it is very easy to adjust the focusing wheel so really uh, well made and uh, the focusing works from uh, from I think uh, five meters all the way uh, to infinity and from the closest range to the farthest uh, range you have one whole revolution and three quarters of a revolution okay now from the upper side it is the open bridge designed which is perfect for uh, great ergonomics and also for the durability then here are the two uh, buttons. The left one is for the laser range finder and the right one is for the menu. Uh, and on the front, lastly, it's uh, here is the laser, which is in the middle of the two barrels. And I think this is perfectly positioned. Uh, and it is a very strong laser. Uh, it works up to 2,950 meters or 3,200 yards. And it is a very fast laser uh, and in most of the times you get a reading in only 0.3 seconds so a really really fast uh, measuring here 56 millimeters objective lenses which are for again for lower light conditions uh, and because of that the um, binoculars are quite big and bulky and also quite heavy the dimensions are 187 millimeters in length 153 millimeters in width and 90 millimeters 
uh, high. The binoculars have a built-in compass, inclinometer and a temperature sensor, so all the necessary sensors which you need for long-range uh, shooting or long-range hunting. And all of the, these sensors uh, work automatically. Uh, when you make your uh, measurement, the binoculars uh, calculates the, the correct bullet drop exactly with all of these, uh, uh, these sensors. The entire binoculars is nitrogen perched, uh, so you have a fog-free image even in a very cold environment. It is watertight and submergible up to 5 meters of uh, depth. And the weight of these binoculars is 1195 grams without the battery, so it is a quite heavy uh, binoculars. But uh, it is usually uh, normal for 8x56 binoculars. Some uh, of them have an even um, higher uh, weight than this one with a laser range finder. Okay, now the binoculars are made in Portugal and they come with a five years uh, warranty. And the price of these are 3,500 euros, uh, but well, with the um, Applied Ballistics uh, Ultralight uh, license, uh, so for the bullet uh, drop conversation or for the uh, ballistics calculator. And if you want the uh, Elite version with many additional features, which I will uh, talk about later in the video, uh, then you have to purchase it for another 150 euros which is very easily done through the app uh, on your phone. Now for the optical uh, performance, as I said, the magnification of the binoculars is eight times uh, and it has a 56 millimeters objective lens. The prism type is Perger Poro. As I said, great uh, light transmission through these uh, prisms. And the field of view is 118 meters at 1000 meters, with the, which is uh, pretty average in my opinion. It has no tunneling effect and the light transmission through the binoculars is 91%. It features all the Leica coatings like HDC and Aquadura, which is for uh, color accuracy and high co contrast images and the Aquadura for uh, on the outer lenses for water and dirt uh, repellent features. So the optical performance is on the highest uh, level. The color accuracy, uh, the detail recognition, it's really, really perfect. And also the image quality is from edge to edge. It's on the highest level you can imagine from a uh, binocular. Okay, now if we go further to the laser rangefinder, it works up to uh, 2950 meters. The measurement range uh, starts by 10 meters and the battery life is approximately 2000 measurements. The laser beam divergence is 1.8 by 0.8 emirates, so it is a smaller uh, laser, uh, so you can uh, measure also smaller targets at longer distances. Uh, and the color uh, and the accuracy is um, 0 0.5 meters up to uh, 200 meters. Then plus and minus one meter uh, from 200 to, two, to 400 meters. And beyond 400 meters, the accuracy of the laser range finder is 0.5 percent so it's a very accurate uh, laser i have to say the laser is uh, or the measurements are very very fast uh, you get uh, reading most of the time in less than 0.3 seconds so really really fast and to engage the laser range finder you have to push the left button uh, on the right button it's the menu uh, button or 
uh, it uh, displays you uh, the inclination, uh, temperature or the pressure uh, you are currently at. Uh, so if I show you uh, this here, uh, like this uh, circle, it's uh, designed for the uh, measurement where your laser is uh, aiming. Under it you get the distance and on the right side the measurement in meters or in yards. Uh, and here uh, it looks, uh, it shows you the inclination, temperature and uh, pressure. Um, the laser range finder has three modes, uh, equivalent horizontal distance, uh, the actual distance or the ballistic curve. Uh, so you can change this in the menu directly in the binocular or through the app on your smartphone. Uh, so the menu has all in all five uh, options. Uh, so the first one is the EU-US. Uh, where you can change to yards or meters. Then the second one is the mode, where you change uh, the equivalent horizontal distance, actual distance or the ballistic curve modes. The third one is the Bluetooth, where you can turn on and off the Bluetooth feature. Fourth is the brightness level of the display inside the binoculars from one to five. And the last one is the automatic off feature uh, where you have uh, one, three or five minutes uh, options uh, to turn off the display. Okay, now if we go to the ballistics uh, software, uh, it is uh, programmable with the app on your smartphone. Uh, it features all the applied ballistics uh, data, which is one of the best ballistics prog programs currently on the market. On the, device, on the Leica, when you purchase this, you get the Applied Ballistics Ultralight versions, uh, which calculations work up to 800 meters, and you can save up to five gun profiles. If you purchase the Applied Ballistics Elite versions, uh, then uh, the calculator works up to 5,000 meters, so well beyond uh, the subsonic range, uh, in the subsonic range. Uh, or well beyond the supersonic range and you can save up to 30 gun profiles. Uh, the Applied Ballistics database has many G1 and G7 uh, coefficients uh, inside and a database of more than 750 preset ammunition profiles. If you purchase the Elite version, uh, you get also many additional features in the app like uh, spin drift correction, Coriolis correction, uh, the aerodynamic jump correction, uh, applied ballistics custom drag models and personal drag models and up to 30 gun profiles, a zero offset sight and drop scale factoring and also sight in conditions. Uh, so here now the uh, Leica app, uh, so you can she uh, see uh, some features uh, in the app. Uh, okay, now the display in the binoculars is in red colors and it has uh, all in all two lines. Uh, okay, now what do you get with the binoculars? First of all, a uh, really nice uh, carrying uh, bag, then a carrying strap, a cleaning cloth, a CR2 battery, then the certificate that it was checked when it left the factory and a quick start guide with many additional or many features uh, explained and everything you need to know about your new binoculars. And lastly, uh, the lens covers. This one is for the eyepiece lenses and these are for the objectives. As I previously said, <clears throat> these are 
not my favorite, uh, unfortunately, because they have to be mounted uh, on the outside of the objective and the interpupillary distance of these is already starts by 60 millimeters and when you put these on they come on uh, like these like this so it is very easy to put them on but the interpupillary distance increases automatically so maybe you can see better like this uh, so this is something you should check uh, when you use the or when you want to buy these binoculars um, all in all the protection is very well made uh, so they are very well protected the binoculars is very well protected uh, when it is closed when it is opened uh, you can very easily lose uh, these covers in my opinion because they are just put on the objective so if you have it around your neck and you carry it around like this you can very easily uh, lose it uh, like this now okay um, now for a short summary first of all the build quality they are extremely robustly made. The armoring is very, very well made. Uh, so they are designed to use for many, many years. The second thing is the image quality. It is perfect. The image quality is very, very good. Uh, like I said, one of the best images when you look through the scope on the market. Then I like that the parts are easily replaced, I like the uh, eye cups and the covers um, can, you can do it by yourself you don't need to uh, send it in for the warranty if you let's say damage the eyepieces uh, I like that the <clears throat> diopter is adjustable for, bo for both barrels separately again for better image quality the applied ballistics but, uh, calculator that it's inside the device it's perfect uh, one of the best on the market laser range finder uh, very uh, strong uh, laser range finder for very great distance and extremely fast uh, measuring and I like also that it has all the needed sensors uh, for the for the correct uh, bullet drop uh, calculations like uh, inclination temperature and uh, pressure and lastly the tracking assistance uh, with GPS mapping uh, which is uh, on the device that you can see it on your phone is again unique and a really nice uh, feature now where do I see room for improvements First of all, as I said, with these covers, uh, because of the uh, interpopular distance and that they are easy to uh, lose when uh, you're using. And the second thing is the Applied Ballistics Elite license, that it is not included with the price when you already purchase the binoculars. It would be a nice feature if it would be the Elite from the beginning beginning on when you purchase the binoculars. Okay, all in all, I think these are extremely well made binoculars. Uh, perfect for low light uh, hunting or low light using uh, or low light, uh, let's say, um, bird watching. Uh, and also for uh, sports shooting for extreme uh, distances uh, with with such a great uh, laser range finder and uh, applied ballistics it's very unique on the market okay this was a short video review of the Leica Geovit Pro 8x56 if you have any additional questions click the link below and if you enjoyed please like and subscribe thanks for watching